Hello, Stevie. So you can probably tell already things are a little bit different right now than what they are going to be in this next video. And that is because I lost a bunch of footage. I bought a new bike. About 2018 Road King with the Milwaukee 8 in it. Um, I lost all the footage. I lost the footage of buying it. I lost the footage of getting it home. I lost the footage of showing it to you guys for the first time. It's all gone. So uh, the video that you're about to see is me putting some parts on this bike that I had acquired and or took off my old bike to put on this one. So it is a 2018 Road King. It has, I believe those are factory 47 ape hangers on it. Some of the things I have added since I got done with the video that you guys are just about to see is I have installed Hogwarts rear blinkers because my son got them for me for Christmas. My youngest son, Kale, and there they are on the front. So I'm very sorry, you guys, that I've lost all this footage. I'm not very good at this thing, but uh, you're, yeah. But let's jump right into putting some parts on this bike. I'm gonna take the passenger running boards off and replace them with pegs. And I kept these off my old bike because they, I like these highway pegs better. Um, the ones that it came with are these, the Willie G's. And those will actually match Miss Stevie's shifter pegs. So I'm gonna see if she wants those because I like these better. All right, we're gonna give you a quick walkthrough of the bike stock. You see the stock floorboards and all that. Stock passenger floorboards. I did already switch out the taillight because I couldn't stand the red one and I'm also going to switch out the blinkers but I'm gonna put the chrome filler strips in I put the chrome covers over the detach hardware and I put my lucky Dave seat on this twisted cherry paint man it's amazing and I'm gonna change out the shifter pegs I forgot to mention that and that's about it for now eventually we'll be doing the speedometer and eventually we'll be doing the switch caps and I'm also gonna switch out the mirrors too I forgot about those all right so here's the start um, we will be doing some things to it later on most of that will be motor work so this also did come with the passenger backrest which I don't need because I already have one but now I have one that I can leave the pad on all the time and I have one that I can take the pad off and leave the pad off uh, so I when I carry luggage I can carry a, a bigger bag and stuff it also came with a, a tall boy seat which you all know me, I'm not a tall boy. I did just get a DOT physical yesterday though and they said I was 5'9". I always thought I was 5'8". You know, tomato, tomato. But my legs are really short. I'm not gonna talk about it anymore. Before I go anywhere with these highway pegs, I'm gonna make sure that I can get these highway pegs off the mount. Because if I can't, um, then there's no use doing this at all. There's one down. I'm going to go put this one on the bike because of the way that it's going right now. One other thing that's cool about this bike is it still has a saddlebag crash bars on it. So I have one more place to clamp you guys to. And with that, while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and pull that brake pad off. Just like pressed on there. I guess it's probably the cheapest way to make it though, isn't it? <laughs> Not really anything wrong with this one, it's just, you know, stock and dumb. I did put Loctite on it, so I don't have to get it that tight. All right, I'm gonna raise the bike up a little bit. Follow the safety locks and tighten our strap down. Okay. Should not go anywhere now. All right. Stock floorboard. Eventually, I, I will change these to something like a thrash and supply. Mm. 
There's a good idea what that side's gonna look like. Now I gotta get this off. This. You stay. There we go. I don't ride with the passenger much anymore. I like to get the running board out of the way and just have a peg. And these I got from a buddy of mine who has a CVO Street Glide. And he went to the running boards. And so he gave me those. A little tiny dab of Loctite. Probably should torque that one too, but I put Loctite on it. So I don't need to get it too ungodly tight. It's not coming off with the Loctite. So much better. It's the little things. What do you guys think? Should I get an air cleaner like Miss Stevie's, the SNS teardrop? Thinking that I should, but at the same time, I don't I don't mind this. It doesn't get in my way. That's just me. Alright, next. I'm gonna get the saddlebag off and my kid made me a saddlebag holder over there probably just take the other one off too and then we'll get our filler strips on then you take this bolt off right here Alrighty, filler strip is on after, before, after, before. These always look so much smaller, but they're the same size. They look smaller. I will say these types of shifter pegs are not the kind of shifter pegs you want to use and delete one of your, your, your heel shifter because these actually kind of hurt when you pull up on them with your toe. So if you don't use your heel shifter a lot, um, these maybe aren't the shifter pegs that you should go with, but I use my heel shifter every time I shift. so. All right, I'm going to get this switched out and then we'll be done. So I fill you guys in on what I got going here. You know how when I started this thing, I said I was going to take these bolts out to make sure they work. Then take this one out. Totally stripped out. Got my easy out. I'm going to see if I can't get this out with the easy out. Otherwise, I don't know. We're just going to have to drill it out, I guess. Hopefully this works. That is too much Loctite. Man, it gets cross-threaded. But either way, job's done. Old, 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 and old. Now we just need to put the headlight rings on, which those are never very fun. But we're going to do it. Now I had these headlight rings on my old bike. Going from this to this, those are done. Those are done. So the Road King is done. The only thing left to do is to switch the windshields over quick. Yeah, you guys have seen me. You guys have seen me do that before, so I'm just gonna when I'm done, I'm gonna put it on, and then we're gonna see how it looks. Hello, Stevie. So it is obviously a different day from when last time we worked on the bike. Still can't believe I lost all that footage. Mm, man, it makes me mad, but we will do a, a proper unveil of this bike. It'll just be a while yet. Maybe maybe next weekend they're talking about it being in the 50s um, with no snow. That's the biggest thing right now. It's about 45, which there's a lot of salt and, and, uh, and sand mix on the road. But today we're going we're gonna to pick up on the bike again. Um, last thing you guys saw me talk about was I changed the windshield to my long ride windshield from the stock, from the tall boy windshield that the guy had put on it because wow he must have been tall also i put a speedometer in 
just like the one I had on my blue bike because I wanted to tack. But this time instead of blue, I have white with red needles. I will go through that here in a little bit and I'll show you guys how to change the colors on that. Because sometimes you might buy a used bike that has this speedometer and you didn't even know you could change the colors of it. So we're going to go through how to do it. It's very, very simple. But right now we're going to get tackling on these switch caps. We're going to turn those to chrome and then we'll get on the license plate. The bike is almost done. I won't call it a bike build because I'm just putting accessories on it is all I'm doing, but I'm almost done with it. And then um, I've got another thing, <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started on these. So the nice thing about these newer bikes is that the switch caps, they come apart really easy. You can't see me because of my hat. They come apart. I don't even care. They come apart really easy. Nothing like what my 06 was or my 98 was that I switched to Chrome. I didn't switch my 06 to Chrome. When you do these guys, be careful because these, these screws back here are Chrome. Don't just jam your Torx in there and start twisting it all crap. You don't want to chip that Chrome up. Unless you're taking it apart and you're going to put chrome ones back on. But then, you know, who cares? Okay, so I start taking the caps off and these just pop off. Alright, so I have the right blinker off. So you have it here like this. And you take the right side and you just get your finger underneath it. Pull up and it comes right off. When you put your chrome one on, you can see inside here there's a little knot. Here there's a little lip. When you put your chrome one on, you start on that side and you just push it on. These are a little bit different. These take a little torques. You got to screw those off. And then this side is the same way. But I believe this just pulls off too. And this, you got your switch for your, that moves this. That's what this switch does. But yeah, but it can't be that hard, right? So I bought these from Harley Davidson. But when they come, they're in a package like this that's kind of stapled together. And then each switch is in its individual bag. That is cool they're all mixed up obviously but and then there's another one obviously it comes with two this one has the both blinkers and then the touring caps the one with the hole in it this one is for my cruise control this one is for this side with nothing on it because it's not a it's not a fairing bike bro all right so put it on the right side Push it on. We're going to do the run stop switch now. The old run and stop switch. The old hazard and start switch. And we'll flip through our catalog. Okay. So now we got to find ourselves torques for that. So this little guy right here is a T6. Yeah, I'm really surprised that I had that a little guy. Definitely going to lose that, right? Yeah, go through our little catalog of parts here. And that is the one that has no holes in it. One side done. Everything's on there good and tight. Now we got to do this side, which undoubtedly is going to be the harder side to do. Why do I always start with the easy one? Now that will change for you guys, you'll just be on the other side. I don't know how much of this I'm going to actually show because you've seen it already. So this time I'm going to start that thing down there. That was a pain in the butt. That way I can spend the rest of the day looking for the screws when I drop them. Well, this one's got the horn button and the traction control button, which this bike definitely does not have traction control, but I don't care. I'm going to put it on there because it looks better than uh, just having it blank. All right. So we got, we got the switch caps done. We are all chromed out on the handlebars, which is cool. Next, we're going to put on the license plate, which is the license plate off my old bike. And I bought a um, license plate frame. So on this bike, I do not have the curved license plate mount like I did on the old one. But the only reason why I had it on the old one is because uh, the stock one fell off. So part of me was like, I'm just going to go ahead and get the curved one out. So I don't lose my license plate again. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and roll with this one for now. And there we have it. License plate is on. Other than that, the bike is done. Now, like I said, this is not a bike build. This was just putting accessories on the bike. For instance, the taillights 
it did not have any LEDs. Now it has LEDs. And one of the things I am waiting for is my run brake turn module. It will make the, the rear blinkers taillight. It's all LEDs now. Let's see, I put a shelf in the saddlebag. I don't know if I'll keep that or not because I like my saddlebag organizers that I kept from my old bike. I did put my covers on. Uh, Legend suspension, guys. This bike has it because it came off of my old one. And this bike has crash bars on the saddlebag. We have our passenger pegs now instead of passenger floorboards because I ride alone most of the time. We have the floorboards, brake, highway peg, other side also shifter pegs, floorboard. Let's see, have our long ride windshield on. We have our chrome switch caps now we have mirrors that match the running boards and then of course we have the hogwarts headlights with halos did not come with that and we have the led turn signals in the front also it does have the wheels i did not put the wheels on did not put the chrome lower forks on came with that i did put the french covers over the headlights um, I did not put the handlebars on and I would not have chose these handlebars I like them I wouldn't have chose them but I'm not gonna change them either they look good on the bike the bike looks great we also have did not put this on but we have a full Vance and Hines exhaust system which I am NOT a fan of these mufflers I will be changing those eventually I will not change the head pipe though we have the matching rear wheel also I do have my lucky Dave seat on so that's the new bike, guys. Uh, I will miss the old one. But we have big plans for this Milwaukee 8 in the future. Uh, in fact, we have talked about it already with who we need to talk to about it. Yeah. So that's the new bike. So everybody, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you know when we load up next. And until next time, when the weather's nice, Finally, or when it warms up a little bit, we will see you on the road.